what's up everyone I'm kind of <laughs> ashamed to show this to you but I recently got a 5 bison victory so don't judge me too hard but uh, it had to be done eventually if I want to complete the 5 of kind series so I think I got very lucky on this run because uh, you see I think on this turn yeah, I get 2 crickets and uh, by turn 5 I already have a level 3 cricket which is obviously what you want to see if you want to go for bison and uh, very lucky mosquito hit like uh, a lot of things go in my direction on this run and uh, it wasn't really necessary to be honest because uh, bison is a broken unit and uh, I could have uh, faced more resistance and been okay but uh, it's fine the way it went it's uh, better for me even not just fine and I find two more crickets on this show pro which is uh, very lucky for me even luckier that I find uh, this uh, weird build of the opponent just running uh, fish and ant and bees <laughs> but uh, that's not an issue for me of course I'll take the win any day uh, I try to preserve as many level ups as I can for level uh, for level for turn 5 I mean because uh, I obviously hope to find an early bison and uh, getting as many level ups and, and uh, as many opportunities for me to see it is obviously the way to go. I could have maybe optimized it a little bit more by uh, preserving two level 2 crickets and uh, gaining an extra level up when I stack them together that way but uh, uh, it worked out okay so uh, <laughs> don't, don't judge me too hard. Uh, I find a worm here which uh, I wasn't really happy about but uh, I decided to get it anyway and here is the bison, the first one of the five. Uh, usually I try to diversify nowadays like um, if I find a unit which I'm not looking for on a, an early level up I'll just uh, get it and maybe hope to get uh, you know a, a five of a kind of that unit instead it uh, wasn't meant to be though, but uh, I'll keep the worm for some time more. I go for a turn seven, turn seven, excuse me, level up. It, ex at least uh, preparation for the level up because uh, if I find the monkey, it's obviously <laughs> game over. Getting uh, what is it? Uh, plus four, plus five with the bison combined with the monkey. That would be just uh, too much for my opponents to handle, of course. I think uh, it's usually a good idea to uh, preserve level ups for turn 7 even if you aren't uh, playing any meme runs like I am but uh, I didn't get very lucky I got uh, a rhino which uh, a rhino needs its own uh, uh, 5 of a kind still but uh, I'll be working on it some other day today is uh, bison stain to shine and I find my second one the earlier you find the uh, bison the better but I think I missed position here by placing the level 2 ship in the second position because I maybe should have anticipated a frontline deer that would take it out with the bus but I won anyway <laughs> because I won I'm not <laughs> learning my lesson and not, not placing the ship uh, in the third position instead but uh, Double Bison is so strong, especially when you get a buffed up, a buffed up one like that in the first position. A 16-16 with uh, garlic is going to uh, annihilate teams, basically. Uh, I got inspired a bit by Grounded's video, actually, because uh, the way he ran a 5 Bison co uh, comp is uh, he got an early uh, tier 1 uh, level 3 unit which he uh, kept until the very last turn in which he sold it for the 5th uh, bison but uh, before that, before that strategy that I maybe should have told of myself I was trying to get a level 3 bison and, <laughs> and having the other bison uh, buffed uh, from it instead of a level of a tier 1 level 3 unit but uh, that way with the tier 1 unit I can invest in uh, early and uh, I can get uh, 
Bison setup going very early. Like uh, this uh, setup started on turn uh, turn seven, I think. Was it turn seven? No, it was turn five actually, even earlier. And you can see how far it's gotten already. Even uh, even summon teams can do anything to me. I'm running the ultimate cheese strategy here. Here I, I think about maybe going into my uh, uh, Fort Bison, but uh, I think it may be a little too early. I find Steak and Melon very luckily. It's kind of unfortunate that I haven't found my fifth Bison, that means I'll be rolling on it, uh, rolling for it rather on my uh, last turn. But <laughs> that's the problem of winning too quickly, I guess. It's a first world problem though, so I shouldn't be complaining. And I think this is going to be the last round of the game. A very quick game, thankfully. And uh, I'll be getting the final bison right here. Yeah, right here. Thank you all for watching. Let me see what I do uh, in this last turn. <laughs> Putting the stake on the weak unit, of course. Kind of unfortunate that I couldn't buy the melon, but uh, I had a... Uh, uh, an opportunity to lose and maybe buy it on the next turn. <laughs> Here's the saddest part of the run where five uh, Pisons uh, fail to trigger their effects. But uh, anyway, uh, like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and uh, take care. Thank you for watching.